A key idea in chemistry is the difference between elements and compounds. So in this video, we'll look at the difference between elements and compounds. We'll look at some examples, the definition, and then you'll do some practice to help you remember. So right off, elements are made of one type of atom, where compounds, they're made of two or more different type of atoms. So we could take the metal, sodium, bond that here to a nonmetal, chlorine, and that would give us NaCl. NaCl, that's just table salt. So we have an element, sodium, and an element, chlorine, but when they come together, they chemically bond and they form a compound, NaCl. We could take a hydrogen and bond that to an oxygen and another hydrogen, and we have HOH. This is a compound, HOH. You might also know that as H2O, water. So water, that's a compound made up of elements, the elements hydrogen and oxygen, chemically bonded together to make the compound. So the periodic table, that's a list of all of the elements, and we can combine elements to make compounds. So pause and determine which of these are elements and which are compounds. We know that elements are made of one type of atom. So we have hydrogen here and nitrogen. These are elements. Compounds though, compounds are made of two or more different types of atoms. These are compounds and the elements are bonded together chemically to form the compounds. We find a list of all the elements on the periodic table, but since we can combine them in all kinds of different combinations, there are literally billions of different compounds possible. One thing that confuses students is the idea of pure substances. So if I have a block of iron, it's just iron. So it's a very pure substance. It has a definite and constant composition. But I can have something like water, H2O, just pure water. That also has a definite and constant composition. It's water throughout, just H2O. So when we talk about pure substances, we can have pure elements, but we can also have pure compounds. So the idea of pure substances, that applies to both elements and compounds. Another area that causes confusion are these diatomic molecules like H2, N2, O2. These are the seven common diatomic molecules here. So the question is, are these elements or compounds? It's a bit confusing. They are molecules. We have two elements bonded together to form a molecule but it's only one type of element, one type of atom here. So these are given a special name. These are called molecular elements. We consider them elements because it's only one type of atom, but they're molecular because there is a chemical bond here between these two, and they're very common in chemistry. You'll also see things like P4 or S8. These are also considered molecular elements, because they're made of just one type of atom. So pause and identify the molecular elements from this list below. So we're looking for elements that are only one type of atom, like H2, O2, S8, P4, or N2. These are considered molecular elements. H2O, CaO, CH4, those are compounds. So to recap, elements are one type of atom, but we can mix these together to form compounds, like H2O. When we have a compound, these elements are chemically bonded together. The periodic table, it gives us a list of all the elements, and we can mix these in different combinations to make many, many different types of compounds. Do note that not every combination of different elements works. There are rules that we follow, and you'll learn about those as you go on in chemistry. This is Dr. B with the difference between elements and compounds. Thanks for watching.